uh, Barcelona through to the final eight of the Copa del Rey still after range. a 3-1 win. Now, this is what Kunde had to say after the game. Uh, at the end of the day, you can talk about the coach, but we, the players, are the ones on the pitch. When there are bad results, it's also our fault, of course. We had to react tonight. This game was important, and we have to move forward with intensity, which is what I think we have lacked this season. We had to react tonight. They didn't really for a long time. Mutiny averted. Well, indeed. Because if you'd listened to the last few days, and we talked about it on the show yesterday, about the grumblings from the playing side of things at Barcelona when uh, after that dreadful performance in the, the Supercopa. And, and, and tonight it was, you know, it's just, I would describe it as nothing more than getting the job done. Yes. Which is what ultimately they needed mm. to do. Uh, and from the other aspect, at least it was a contest. Uh, and Unionista can be proud of what they offered, but there was nothing, once again, I saw in that Barcelona performance that says to me, they're going to put a run together and they're going to be back in this league title challenge. I just don't see it happening. Yeah, beating Unionista 3 1 isn't going to take the pressure off. No, it, it's not, but, but it's the only thing that mattered, in, in all honesty. Before the game, we were talking to Sid Lowe and he said, Barcelona's results have not been that great. Their performances have been far worse. Right to today, it was just about the final scoreline, getting through to the next round. Given, given the pressure that everybody who, who's put on this Barcelona strip, the pressure that Xavi has been under, that all you needed to, to be in the draw for, for, for the next round. The performances at this point didn't matter. Again, you, you trounce Unionista 5-0. It, it doesn't change that pressure at all. You win 3-1, you move on you have an opportunity to, to, to now address that pressure, those poor the fact, performances. The fact that they should have lost a goal in, what, 45 seconds? Mm. I mean, and it was a great play, a great run, as Shaki mentioned. The finish should have been a lot better, but the fact, and you saw Chavi's reaction, he was, like, banging the, the technical error of the dugouts, and it's just unacceptable. Yeah. It's unacceptable. I mean, it's not like they're playing against top elite-class players, and yet they allowed this team... I mean, it was 1-0 up until just before half-time, but they allowed them almost to take the lead inside a minute of this game. There's a lot of work to be done at this football club, and these players are going to have to do a lot to convince... And they can say all they want about, oh, we need to do this and we need to do that, because when they don't perform, right, and words are cheap, but when they don't perform, it's only one man's head that's going to roll eventually, and yeah. he better hope that most of these players are going to get their finger out between now and the end of the season. Otherwise, he's going to be struggling, Xavi, to keep a job come May. So, Barcelona are in the draw then for the quarterfinals of the Copa del Rey, the draw which takes place uh, tomorrow at uh, 7 a.m. Eastern. Uh, as you can see, Barca, head and shoulders above everyone else, considering how many titles they've won. But I think you would be pushed to say they are favourites to go on and win their 32nd title. And that mantle at the moment surely belongs to Atletico Madrid. Those quarterfinals, by the way, it's a free draw, will be next midweek.